Hey, crazy friends. Hey, guys. It's Jay and Francis from Find You Crazy. We are a family of nine who travel full-time in an RV with five of our kids, two dogs, and a turtle as we go around the country to see every national park. But the beauty of traveling to national parks is you get to travel to a lot of things between the national parks. And sometimes those things get to be bucket list things. And that's what we're doing this week. We're doing one of Francis's big bucket list, visiting Amish country. So I kid you not, since we have been married, Francis has been obsessed with Amish people. I think it <laughs> comes from watching Too Much Little House on the Prairie. Um, wait, 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 is there ever Too Much Little House on the Prairie? I don't yeah, think so. Sometimes there can no. be. When, when you think that it's more <laughs> desirable to live back in that era than right now, then yeah, then that's when you've watched Absolutely. too much. Absolutely. Um, Francis could definitely walk away from technology. The mm -hmm. hilarious thing is, when we told the kids this week that we're coming to Amish country, <laughs> Joe and Sky said, Listen, we can visit, but mom, <laughs> we are not going to live there. Actually, what they really said is they said, okay, if we go Amish. If we go Amish. If we go Amish, because they know how likely that is for me. If we go Amish, <laughs> then Joe said he's going to live with Anley, and Sky said she was going to live with Virginia. And so literally, that was the conversation is who they were going to live with if we were to go Amish. So, yeah, that's our next <laughs> Lancaster t-shirt, go Amish, with a buggy <laughs> driving off in the distance, um, go Amish. So that's what we're doing this week. We're yeah. going Amish. And so this has been something that I, I love. Um, I read books about them growing up, um, just um, – opportunities to be able to see and to experience this. And I think it's not, I'm not alone. I think a lot of people um, just find the charm and the beauty and the simplicity, um, especially in this technology saturated world, um, the sense of community. Um, but I would say it's not that different really from RVing because we have had to simplify greatly. We came from a 360, uh, 3,600 square foot home down to a 360 um, square foot home. And so for us, the simplification process was liberating. It was wonderful. And we don't miss any of it. We have loved so much the small living, the simple living that gets you outside into the beauty of nature. And in that way, I think we've connected a little bit with my inner Amish desire is RV living has satisfied that. And so today um, and the rest of the couple of days that we're going to be here, I'm just looking forward to the food, um, to the community and to learning a lot more about people that are different than we are. Um, that's the beauty of also travel is you get to experience different cultures, different people, different areas, and the people that are passionate about the areas that they live. Um, and so we're looking forward to learning a lot for the kids to get hands on with some, maybe some farm animals, awesome. some buggy rods. Um, we're going today to the Lancaster Central Market. So we're going to kind of start off with seeing all that. Farmers, this, farmers market. Yes. And that everything has to offer. So I hope you come along with us and see all the beauty that we experience and, and find a little bit of crazy in the simplicity. Let's go Amish. What you got there, Dad? Meadow tea. It's pretty <laughs> amazing. It's like, like super floral, sweet. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like drinking a summer's day. <laughs> and we got this at Red Barn. So this is Mary's homemade meadow tea right here in Coryville. That's where we are. Butter, sugar, and brewed tea leaves. Ooh, so we got a big one because the jar was beautiful and it was a much better deal than buying some small drinks. So that whole thing, $4.95. Yum. What's it taste like? Oh! <laughs> 
Not yours. What about you, Joe? <laughs> Hold it by the little ring. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. It smells like a meadow, doesn't it? <laughs> no meadow tea for you, huh? <laughs> Our first day going Amish was pretty epic. Good. Pretty, it was so much fun. The uh, starting out this morning, the Lancaster Central Market. Um, it was neat, um, but to be honest, it wasn't quite as Amish as what we were hoping for. It's yeah. a really cool downtown market, like big old building with all rows of shops and stuff. And there was some Amish and Mennonite booths here and there, but for the most part, it was just a cool farmer's market really could have been in any city so then we decided we would just take a scenic drive and so we got on 896, 896 which is um, a great scenic byway drive yeah. um what we had read was it's just important just to get out of the city just lancaster is a city and uh you want to be outside of the city yeah. um, where the farms are where the beautiful drives are so i would encourage you to look up some scenic drives but the one we took was on 896 and yep. we headed from lancaster out um past um i think like uh, we Park Township. Out, and all the way out past Nine Point. Yes, yeah, several townships we went all the way through, and it was beautiful. And once you got out um, of that area of Lancaster, you really were just immersed in the farmland. When you see your first uh, buggy crossing sign, you know you're you in know the right you're place. there. Yeah. You do, and it was so beautiful just to slow down. Um, I will say 896 is still a pretty, uh, it's a fairly busy road, so there is still traffic on that road, um, even as you get further out. And then what happened to us was oh man, we hit the jackpot. So right by accident. Up and down the road, there's lots of Amish farms and Mennonite farms, and several of them even have like little stalls out in front mm -hmm. of their houses. Uh, but we saw a sign for a side road, um, and it had strawberries. That was one of the reasons we were going to pull down there. Uh, and it was the best thing that we did. We had actually, once we did that, we realized we actually had read a couple times. People said, you got to turn off the main yes, road. Yes, you did. We turned off and went down that little side road, and it was nothing but Mennonite farms. Um, and and Amish, farms. Amish farms. And, I mean, it was just amazing. They were out plowing their fields. The kids were on the side of the road playing. Oh. Um, I mean, it was like just everything that we so had hoped for um, and then when we got to where we were headed that we thought was going to be like another stall uh, we saw a sign to turn down the driveway and we drove like down the driveway and i'm like we're going to drive to these people's houses and sure enough they had like a little stall set up out behind their house and when we pulled up um sarah uh, the mom um, had to quit mowing grass to come over and sell us she the produce did. and i got to talk to her for a little while she has 10 kids so we had that in common and we just got the opportunity for just a little while just she and i um so it wasn't commercialized it wasn't set up it wasn't anything scheduled or a tour this was just the opportunity to meet another mom of many and uh, just to connect with her for a little while over um, her life and just um, our families and what we are doing. And it was just, it, I could go home today um, so satisfied because that was what I was looking for is just to make a connection um, and not even one that's forced or paid for or a tour, but this really was just an opportunity to take some time. She met all of our kids. Um, we were just able to buy some eggs and some strawberries and potatoes and all the goodies there. Um, and just to get to share life for just a few minutes. Um, and I leave with a name of a lady of a mom, um, just like me, um, who just happens to live a little differently, but, um, it was a sweet, sweet moment. And one that I will be so thankful for, like I said, I could leave today. And that's what I wanted was just yep. to make a real connection. And we, um, the Lord gave us that for sure, but that wasn't it. <laughs> no, and what was really cool is, I mean, driving up and down the road, stopping in all the little markets and then the household stands and stuff. Um, like I think we spent thirty thirty five dollars and came away with like a veritable mm. smorgasbord. Fresh flowers, uh, yeah, bread, uh, yes, tea. Uh, I mean, like you name it. Um, it's just crazy how much stuff we got up and down that road. Um, and so it was awesome. I highly suggest that you do that though. So there, we're going to be take taking cash, a tour tomorrow. Take cash. Yes, take. 
cash and heck? get smaller denominations because yep. the strawberries are going to be like three dollars and there's not really a place to get change there's just a little roadside stop some of the places where you meet the folks and you go into their house they do have change but the little roadside um places just have a slit where you just put the cash down in there on the honor system so make sure that you have enough money um but you also have the right denominations yep. and so we had to go and get some change and things like that the other thing to remember is um you just need to get off the main road so we're going to take a buggy tour tomorrow we're excited about that but i will say what is incredibly um beautiful is just getting off the main roads get out of town you don't beautiful have to pay farm. a dime yeah. this was completely free and you'll be surprised um, because these folks are, are so welcoming they were ready for visitors because they had opened their home uh, voluntary but it wasn't um, manufactured or commercialized these were just um person to person family to family and i just loved that so i would encourage you to do that to get off the beaten path yeah. take a road less traveled you can't lose i mean you just any of them are beautiful and uh and we just really our kids and all of us we love truly impacted by the beauty and the simplicity and if you take this road out um when you come back at the very place that it kind of breaks off in the town that it does there's a restaurant called good and plenty um which is authentic dutch <laughs> cooking um yes. and it was crazy good so like, good we Fried got chicken. all the fried chicken, the meatloaf, the um, like pork and sour chow, 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 chow the bread Shoe pudding, and then the desserts. I mean, we got all like everything they had that was done. Whoopie so pie, pie, the whoopie pies. Um, I'm stuff. We may not eat again. And then right out back is this hours, entire so. petting pen with uh, free range chickens literally all over the place. Oh. Goats and um, roosters and playground. And so fun it's a great day. place for the kids. We're the only people here. There is no one here in the middle of the week. So we kind of have the run of it. So we just can't even wait to see tomorrow. We're no, taking we're a bunny ride. We have two more days here. <laughs> this was just our first day. So um, keep with us. Stay with us because we got a lot more to see and it's going to be great. All right. So one of the obviously most iconic things uh, about Amish country is the horse and buggy riding down the side of the road. And so if you're here in Amish country and you want to experience everything Amish, you got to take a buggy ride. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do today. We are all going to load up in a traditional Amish buggy with an Amish tour guide and have a private family tour um, through the country and through a little farm and check off another thing on Francis's bucket list. Or buggy list. <laughs> Hey right, Dad, what'd you get? The hay stacker. Okay, what is on that? Apparently, if you don't stack hay, 
this is what you should eat. Okay, uh, what is it? So it is English muffin, bacon, grilled peppers and onions, home fries, uh, sausage gravy, <laughs> scrambled eggs, and cheese sauce. Whoa. All right, so our few days in Amish country was pretty amazing. Uh, once we got outside of Lancaster and out into mm -hmm. the country, uh, it just it got perfect. better and better. And then once we got off the beaten path and even further back into some of the roads, it got even better and better. Uh, and so overall, I would say uh, it was pretty epic. I will say um, we ate like kings, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> like we went to that Dutch restaurant thinking that was like awesome. And then we got... We found an Amish restaurant that's run by an Amish family. Mm -hmm. In fact, our Amish buggy rider said that it was the best food in town. And it was pretty amazing. It's where I got the Haystacker. Um, Katie's is the name of it. So you got to go there. So good. And then we found um, like a pretzel place mm -hmm. on the side of the road that like all the little girls back there were Amish. Pretzel was like pulled right out of the oven and stuck in our bag. Best pretzel we've ever had. Yes. And then even the food that we got on the side of the road, we went back and cooked a meal with all of it one night. I mean, just better and better and better. So overall, I was happy with Amish country. And I absolutely was too. And one of the things I took away with it was just um, kind of the ways that we pigeonhole people, um, how we think things are going to be one way, um, how we um, maybe fictionalize people and think things um kind of predisposed to ideas and things like that before we go. And that was definitely true for me with the Amish. Um, just uh, though I had read books, most of them were fiction. Seen movies, most of them were fiction. And so you could enter in and um, it was neat to just really meet real people and to see that it's it's a complex society um, that are made up of individual people with different thoughts, different um, convictions, and each little group is separate and how they view different things that come into the community and different things that they participate in and that was really neat for me and so I think I left um, just seeing people as people instead of just as a group um, individually meeting new people new friends and talking with them and actually figuring out what do they think and how do they live and how does it work for their families much like it is for all of us we're all very unique and individual and we can tend to kind of marginalize each other or put each other in boxes and judge each other or um, um, kind of elevate each other or just make everything seem to be perfect in that world. But the truth is we're all just people and we're individualized. We're, we're Christians, but we're different from all the other Christians because we're unique, Jay and Francis, and our family is different. The way we walk out our convictions, the way we walk out our our lives is different from other people. And so I want people to get to know me. And I found that that was an opportunity that I loved was getting to meet real people, real Amish people and hearing their stories asking good questions and just letting people be people. And that was the most beautiful thing of all was when the people came to life off the pages of the books and out of the side of the movies, when we began to make friends, when we began to see people for people and to begin to embrace that we're all unique and different and we all have such gifts to give and we all have a place. And I loved that. It was just so inspiring to me. And that's my one big takeaway. The food was good. The buggy rides were great. The um, countryside was idyllic, but the people were what captured my heart and the ways that I personally I put them in a box and I love to see them jump out of that box. And now I leave with just a richer, richer understanding of their culture and of the families and their structure. And I love it. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to do that. So you don't miss any more of our adventures. You can subscribe right over there. You can also click uh, to see some of our other videos. We would love to have you follow along with all of our crazy adventures. So until next time, go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family. See you guys. Bye guys.